Hello, this is Minced Mole, back with the third episode of the United Territories of Mold. And today, I am going to be building a chicken farm. I have quite a few eggs built up, and I slaughtered most of the chickens so that I could get their meat. And, as you saw, I found an abandoned mineshaft and got myself another diamond, as well as some other materials. And for, for the chicken farm, it's going to be built up in the sky, part of it at least. But I am not going to be showing it to you here. I am going to be showing it... Well, while I'm building it on this world, I'm going to be showing you how it is built in a creative world. So I will be right with you over on the other server. Not server, world. Here you can see two different versions of the chicken farm. This one is probably nicer because you can't actually hear any of the chickens. Other than the ones that are going to die eventually. It's so it's quieter, but then this one takes less hoppers, so it it's more resource efficient. But I will show you how to build the version that I am using in my single player world. So first off, you need to get a hopper. Take a hopper and send it off to to wherever you want your eggs, not eggs, wherever you want your chicken meat to go. So I will just set it up like this, and then set up this area around the end hopper. This is going to be where the chickens are, but it don't. if you don't want to waste glass, don't build it quite yet, because you're going to have to just destroy some of it. Next off, you put one hopper, put one hopper in the bottom facing in, and the other hopper facing in right above that, and take a half slab. If I can find one half slab. Right there. Take a half slab and put it above that hopper. And this this is the hopper that will be dispensing the lava, and that is the hopper that will be dispensing the chickens. So from this hopper, I will get a not hopper. That that's it. That, from that dispenser put a hopper right behind it. And then build another area around that hopper set um, similar to the first one and is that right I think that's right actually no don't don't do it that way um, let me if, let me fix this the hopper goes there rather than putting it there put it there no how, do, how did I do this how did I, I think that's right put it to the side I believe that will work the best Maybe this side. Yeah, whatever. Put it to one of the sides. Either side you can choose. Just don't put it don't put it directly behind. That's the only spot that it won't work. Unless you modify this design. Which if you want to do that, feel free to modify it. I have there's no reason why I don't want you to. And from this hopper not hopper dispenser, put a block. Don't put a block right behind it. You need to put a comparator coming out of it, and a block right next to it. And now put a redstone repeater, and a block, and then redstone. You can just put redstone right there in place of the block, but I like putting a block there just to save a little bit of redstone. And this, what will happen is you have the chickens, let me get it some chickens. No, grab the chicken. The chickens will be in here. So you'll be having chickens in there. And they will lay eggs, which will go into this um, this dispenser. And the dispenser will then pick up the eggs and put them into the this half slab. Which they are... Because it's, it's not... How do I explain this? Because... It's not laying them from eggs. That's why... Uh, they're not being laid from eggs. That's why they're inside of the half slab. If they're being laid from eggs, they would go right up on top of that half slab. So let me fix this. That worked. Right. Okay, there. Fixed it. So if they were being laid by eggs, they wouldn't have been inside of the half slab. They would have been right on top. And... From here, 
take a solid block behind there and actually don't don't put anything facing into it now is when you need to work this is kind of working backwards from the end put two hoppers not hoppers put two repeaters facing into the block and go like that actually no not, not at that height you need to put it one higher right there and now put two repeaters facing into towards the dispenser and the redstone like so and put either of them at four ticks and leave the other one at one tick and now go one farther back with the redstone and from there you you can either use a sticky piston tick pulser or you can use a comparator tick pulse that's what I did in my or what I'm going to do in my single player I, I like it because it's it's more silent and now put the okay put a comparator down facing I suppose you could just do it I'll just do it in a straight line so it is easier to follow put a comparator down like so nope not like so one farther away and the redstone goes there redstone next to the comparator two more blocks a repeater right there and put it on right click on it once so it's, it's on two tick it's on a two tick delay and then finish it off like so and now I'm going to turn right here you need another repeater I'll explain why you need that repeater and then how many do you need? you need eight solid blocks so that's four five six seven okay that works and then eight eight places for the redstone to go and then right at the end put a daylight detector and that should once you click that this dispenser should um, fire twice and if it does that, that means that it is working properly. I need that right there. And then put the lava bucket inside of this dispenser. Now the reason, the reason why you need this, uh, what is it? This repeater right here, is because this daylight detector. One, let's say, okay, if I were to put this into a uh, survival situation. You'd probably, you probably wouldn't be sleeping. Let me rephrase that. You probably wouldn't be staying awake over the whole night. So that's why you need this uh, somewhat longer line of redstone, because the only time that it's going to be no redstone signal, or just very few redstone signal, very few redstone signal length, is at night and you might not always sleep during the night and you don't want the chicken farm to build up too much and cause lag so if you have eight when you go to sleep and you wake up when you're in a bed the redstone signal from a daylight detector is seven blocks in length so very soon after that it will become eight and then activate this repeater which will then activate the redstone and then activate the dispenser but if you were to not have this repeater, after 8 it would only be to here, or even if it were to come all the way to here so that it would activate the comparator, the comparator does not increase the strength of a redstone signal, so it wouldn't actually pulse. It would pulse, but it wouldn't actually right light this redstone block, um, yeah, this redstone wire block up, and it, there would be no chance of it activating these two repeaters, which then because this repeater it has already turned off the comparator then it wouldn't work at all so that is the reason why you need that um, that <coughs> repeater and I will show you what it what happens when you where's the bed where's the bed I'll show you what happens when you sleep so first right before I do that I will put some chickens so let's say it has been running for a while the chickens have laid some eggs so let, I'll put a few chickens in there and get down why are you jumping? Can they? do they think that they can get out of there? 
They might think they can get out of there. Okay, just put some blocks up there. That way they will stop jumping. They should stop jumping. Yeah. Okay. Now they will have to stop jumping. And now that you have all the chickens in there, you can sleep. And as soon as I wake up, I will watch them to show you what happens. So you can see it, the redstone signal is only gone to there, but very soon it will increase by one. And the lava pulsed out, and all the chickens are burning. And if you look at the final product, you have some nice feathers and quite a bit of cooked chicken. So that is how you can build an automatic chicken farm. Infinite food and infinite feathers. So you'll have this huge amount of feathers that you're never going to be using because you can never make that many arrows or books and quills. But they're fun to throw at people. And you can make pillows out of feathers. So now I'll, go, I'll hop back on to the single player world and show you what I have done there. Almost done. And I have completed it. It's not going to be running for a while because the chickens actually have to grow. And if it, yeah, they have to actually grow. So, but once they finish growing, then the dispenser will shoot the eggs out and run my sign back. And the chicken, the chicks will spawn in the half slab, but they'll basically, they can't suffocate in the half slab. So they will float up to the top of it and they will sit there until the lava comes. And if they have grown, then they will burn. I believe that's all for this episode, so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.